quiet before creation's first dawn, where celestial beings danced to the harmonies of the universe, there existed a being of such magnificence that his very presence was like a tapestry of light unfurling across the heavens. This was Lucifer, the morning star, a creation of flawless beauty and wisdom, crafted by the divine through the word, as was all that existed and ever would. The scriptures whisper his story through the ages, a tale not of dark beginnings, but of a luminous inception. Isaiah and Ezekiel, prophets of old, spoke of him with a tone of lament, chronicling the highest rise and the most tragic fall within the spiritual realm. Isaiah recounted Lucifer's celestial rebellion, a heart that once pulsed with the purest light, now tainted by a darkness self-conceived. How you have fallen from heaven, O morning star, son of the dawn! You have been cast down to the earth, you who once laid low the nations. Ezekiel, too, painted a portrait of a being who dwelt in Eden, adorned with every precious jewel, an anointed guardian cherub who walked amongst the fiery stones of God's holy mountain. Perfection was his from the moment of his creation, until unrighteousness was found within him. His beauty became his curse, his wisdom corrupted by the brightness of his splendor. The tale unfolds not as a mystery of wickedness imposed, but as an enigma of perfection's own undoing. Lucifer, the bearer of light, allowed pride to eclipse his being. The very essence of evil seeped not from his creator, but from within his own perfect heart. It was pride that whispered lies of power and ambition, pride that cast his gaze inward, igniting a rebellion that would see him fall like lightning from the heavens. Jesus himself spoke of this fall, a celestial event that served as a stern warning against the perils of arrogance. As the disciples reveled in their newfound power, Jesus reminded them of Lucifer's fate, urging humility over hubris. For it was the pride of the morning star that led to his transformation into Satan, the adversary, the epitome of imperfection and malevolence. The story of Satan is a saga of metamorphosis, where once there was unblemished beauty and wisdom, now lay the seeds of envy, rebellion, and ruin. He who was once cloaked in light became shrouded in darkness, a darkness that he spread through seduction and deceit, leading astray a host of angels, who like him, were condemned to a path of sin and destruction. Revelation speaks of the dragon, Satan, sweeping away a third of the stars of heaven in his tail, a poetic depiction of the angels who were ensnared by his revolt. The celestial rebellion was not just a test of power, but a testament to the cosmic law that even in perfection, there exists the potential for imperfection, a choice between humility and pride, between the servitude of light and the sovereignty of darkness. As the narrative of good and evil, of God and Satan, unfolds across the tapestry of human history, it serves as a reminder of the divine's unwavering justice and holiness. God, in his perfection, does not tempt nor create evil. It is mankind's own frailty that succumbs to temptation. The story of Lucifer turned Satan is not merely a tale of the past, but a living parable warning all of creation of the dangers of pride and the eternal pursuit of humility. The morning stars fall from grace is a poignant chronicle, echoing through the ages, reminding every soul of the delicate balance between light and darkness and the profound power of choice that resides within the heart of all beings, mortal and immortal alike. It is a story that continues to unfold as each being writes their own chapter in the grand narrative of existence, choosing either the humble path of light or the prideful descent into darkness. <laughs>